Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to add your products into Google Merchant Centre. You don't need to worry about creating a product feed, you don't need to link your website to Google Merchant Centre, you don't need to worry about any tech setup in the background, all you need is a Google Merchant Centre account um, that is linked to your Google Ads account. And what you're going to do is come into your Merchant Centre account. If you don't already have any products, then when you come to the overview screen, you will see um, you'll see something like this because there's nothing there if you go to products and then you will see how do you want to add products to your merchant center you're going to just underneath where it says add products one by one you're just going to add a product and this is where you can enter all the information for your products so obviously all the required information price title image product description all of that kind of thing um, you'll enter your target country and language here and um, you will need to have claimed and verified your website URL in order to have these products live and active. As you scroll down the page, you'll notice they have different sections here, product identifiers, product data, and there's always the option in these from to have basic or advanced. I would always recommend that you toggle this to advanced so that you get all the options available because essentially the more data you can add in here, the better it is. You'll want to, if you have GTINs or barcodes, ISBNs if they're books, you want to add these in here. If you have an, a manufacturer's part number, you'll want to add that here. That's sometimes, pe sometimes people refer to that as a SKU. Um, um, your ID, if you leave blank, I would recommend you leave that blank. It will be auto assigned by Google Merchant Center because these all have to be unique. So unless you particularly want to control what your IDs in Merchant Center are, then probably best to leave that blank and have them auto generated. Again, toggle on to advanced and you are going to add your title, your brand, your description, landing pages. Obviously, these are the landing pages, the links to your product page here your um, image links. Now you can either find the URL of your image and paste that in here, or you can directly upload using this brown browse function here and that just directly upload them from your desktop. I would also recommend that you have multiple images of products that just again adds more context, more information that Google has about your product, the better. You'll move down then to your price and availability and you'll notice you have, um, you can select your, uh, your currency here. Obviously that's always going to be the same. It should be the same for um, all products selling to the same country. Um, your availability, you set that. You have several options here, out of stock, in stock, back order, pre-order. Any of these, if you choose, um, pre-order or back order, you need to put a date in, an availability date um, for those. And everything, you know, sale price, put as much of this information in as you possibly can. Um, you've got then your product, your detailed product information. Again, if you're selling things like uh, clothing, you can add product variants here so that you can have multiple options within the same product. You want to include as much attribute information here. So sizes, colors, anything like that, just as much information you're going to want to put in here as possible. Always, again, add, check out the additional product information at the bottom. Your product categories, your Google product categories and your, your product type. I would also recommend adding a product type. That is something that you specify. Um, as opposed to the Google product category, which is a Google's predefined product category, but that all helps Google understand exactly what your product is um, and allows it to better match that to somebody searching on Google. But once you've added all your, all your, all your information here, you just hit save and then that product will be added to your Google Merchant Center. Now, Obviously, this is not something that you would want to do if you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of products because you have to do it one at a time. Also, it's not something that you would probably want to do if you have products that change all the time or that frequently come in and out of stock because you need to keep that stock availability obviously updated in Merchant Center 
because if your product is showing in Merchant Center as in stock, but it's out of stock on the website, then that's going to throw up an error. But if you have maybe a, a few dozen products that are relatively static, this is a really, really easy way of getting them uploaded into Google Merchant Center um, so that you can sell your products quickly and easily. Now, I'm going to show you, if you already have products in Merchant Center, how you would add a new one. So here I've jumped into another Merchant Center account that actually has products active and live. And if for some reason this is this is done through an API, this is a full linked feed to a Shopify store. If for some reason you wanted to add a product, a new product, a separate product in here, um, then you just come to all the products and then you can see at the top here it says add products and then that takes you to exactly the same screen. So that is definitely the quickest and easiest way to add new products into Google Merchant Center without the need for setting up a product feed or any kind of link to your actual online store. Don't forget if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and please share it with anybody else who you think might find it useful. See you next time.